but I did them because they were necessary to save our country from even greater catastrophe. We also took steps to unlock our frozen credit markets so average Americans could get the loans that they needed to buy a home or a car, to go to college or start a small business. We enacted measures to stem the crisis in our housing markets, helping responsible homeowners stay in their homes, curbing the decline in home values overall. And we've seen some stabilization in the housing market. We cut taxes. Think about this, because you, know, you wouldn't know it from watching the news. The only tax policy we instituted during the course of this year was to cut taxes for 95% of hardworking families. Just as I promised I would when I ran for trust. And we passed the Recovery Act, which created or saved up to 1.6 million jobs, stopped our free fall, lifted our economy to the point where it's growing for the first time in more than a year. And I was just talking to the governor before we walked in, and he's got a whole series of charts about how much more steel was produced in Pennsylvania because of the recovery act. How much more infrastructure spending is taking place out here. Putting people to, to work, doing the work that America needs done. So today's report is another hopeful sign that these steps that we took, difficult steps, have helped turn the tide. But we've got a lot more work to do before we can celebrate. Because even though our economy is now growing again, a lot of companies are still hesitant to hire. They're still worried about hiring. Now, some of this is because they're still trying to get out of the red, brought on by tough times this year. And they're still seeing consumers pull back because people got overextended on their credit cards. Those home equity loans suddenly didn't look so attractive. And so people are spending a little bit less. But part of what's happened also among a lot of companies is they figured out how to squeeze more productivity out of the workers that they've got. They're working people longer hours, they're doing more overtime, or not. But either way, they're, they're producing the same amount of product or providing the same services without hiring more people. And that's, that's something that we're gonna have to really work on. Now, it's typical that it takes time for job growth to catch up with economic growth. And it's typical that it, it takes a little more time to come out of a recession when it comes to hiring. But Americans who've been desperately looking for work for months, some of them maybe for a year or longer, they can't wait. And we won't wait. We need to do everything we can right now to get our businesses hiring again so that our friends and our neighbors can go back to work. So, yesterday at the White House, we had a forum on jobs and growth with leaders from every sector of our economy and every political and economic viewpoint, from the CEO of Google to small business owners who know our economy as well as anybody. And I want to ask them what they needed to start hiring again. And we had a frank discussion about a variety of ideas that helped refine our thinking. We talked about investments in clean energy to not only create jobs, but to make America a global leader in renewable energy technology. 